In this Figma tutorial, let's take a look at how to bold text. And there's two different ways, the proper way and the way that you can just kind of make it work. So the first way, the proper way, when you have text selected out here, like this hot air balloon ride, it's pretty thin and maybe I want it to be more bold. On the right hand side, I can see my text options. And the three dots down here, there's a lot more options and you would usually find it under decoration, right? Under the underline strike through, you would see a B for the bold symbol. But even under details, that's just not available. Now, with certain fonts, though, there are other styles. It could be a variable font where you can adjust the weight of the font. But not every font is a variable font. But a lot of fonts do come with other font styles. So you can see those right here underneath the font name. So we can click on the font styles and check out different options all the way down to black. So there's different levels of bolding as well. So we could select bold right here and that will bold the font. So keep in mind all the different font weights here under the font styles. But let's say back to thin, your font doesn't have all the different font weights. It just has one and you want it to be a little bit more bold. The hack around way to do it is to add a stroke to that font. It's not perfect. It's not ideal. You can't push it too far, but you can do it. So we can click on this to add a stroke. And then we can go to the color of the stroke, make sure it's the color of the font, in this case white. And you can already see that it added some boldness to that. So if we hide this, you can see how thin it is compared to when we show it, and it has that stroke around it. Now this stroke is set to the outside, which is probably best for making your font still look the same. And then the weight of the stroke, you could say like 0.5, so you could make it even smaller. Or you could bump that weight up with the arrow keys, and you can see how that breaks pretty quickly. But that's how you can add a stroke to your font or your text to kind of fake bold it. Now, this is not the most proper way of doing things. If you're actually creating a visual asset, that's fine. Like you're going to save this out as an image or something, that's fine. But if you're working on a product or an app or something where the developer is going to have to choose that the font and they're going to have to choose the bold version they can't just fake it with the stroke that's where that becomes an issue so it's fine visually but like on the back end of this if you actually need to create this you're going to need to find a font that works that has the proper weight uh you know this is really just more for hey i'm just saving out an image and i need it to be a bold font or bolder but that's how you can bold fonts here in figma